llamas are excellent guards of small groups of animals. They'll often adopt groups of goat or sheep as part of their own herd. Then when, when in danger, the llamas will protect their herds. Hi, I'm Miss Danny, and today's fun facts are all about llamas. Welcome to Fun Facts. We're bringing you real facts about real people, places, animals, and science every Monday and Wednesday. This is the ASL for llama. 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 Llamas are part of a family of animals called camelids. They're cousins with camels, alpacas, and vicuña. They're native to Peru, Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina in South America. They're large animals too. They get up to six feet tall and weigh 300 pounds. They were first domesticated around four to 5,000 years ago in the Peruvian highlands, where they were pack animals, meaning they carry loads of stuff for people, and used for their wool. These incredible creatures are still companions to humans in Peru and around South America today. Llamas are incredibly friendly. Here is a photo of a time when a llama tried to be my friend. However, if they get agitated or upset, they'll spit. So be very, very careful. They're also quite stubborn and know their own limits. If they're given too much to carry, they'll simply lie down and refuse to move until some weight is removed. Similar to sheep, a llama's wool is shorn and their coats are used for making cloth. They have a double layered coat. The outside layer is rough and coarse, so it's used for making things like rugs and crafts while their undercoat is soft and good for clothes and blankets, like these. Their fur color is black, beige, gray, brown, kind of red or white. And here at the library, our favorite llama's color is red pajamas. Llama poop has almost no odor. Llamas refer to llama manure as llama beans. It makes for a great eco-friendly fertilizer. Historically, the Incas in Peru burned dried llama poop for fuel. Llamas and their cousins have a rich history and often some incredibly silly stories because of their goofy personalities. If you want to learn more about llamas, check out these two books, National Geographic Kids Llamas and Wild and Wooly Llamas. I'll put links down in the description so that you can put them on hold if you want. Thanks for tuning in today for Fun Facts. I'm Miss Danny, and we'll see you next time.